Welcome back to the special presentation of Rune News. We've heard what Gmaster323 said. We've heard what Matebit said. Now it's time for my thoughts on Supersonic Ads. My first reaction to Jagex's introduction of earned rune coins into the Solomon's General Store was extreme concern. I was like, are you out of your minds? I've seen this kind of crap with various other apps, but I would have never thought Jagex, of all companies, would stoop to this level. Jagex has gone further than one step too far on this issue. And what's sad about this is everyone at Jagex has been good little lemmings and standing by the decisions of the CFO and CEO. Even though they know, I'm talking about the player and Jagex mods, this is a terrible idea. Especially after launching their own form of game security called the Jagex Account Guardian in 2012, which I do strongly recommend. My jaw dropped when I saw Magebit's investigation into earned rune coins. Even before he did that investigation, we both knew it was going to get ugly. My hat's off to you, Magebit, for you doing that investigation and putting it out in the open for everyone to see. And hopefully Mark Gerhardt saw that video too and realises the error of his ways. I felt the answers that Jagex gave me in regards to the Twitter conversation I had with them on the 25th of March was them basically saying, we know what's there, but we're washing our hands on this one, and this one is your own responsibility. I should also know it took about 24 hours before the pushback started for Mark Gerhardt to release a statement where he basically danced around the issue and made the issue about microtransactions, not on supersonic ads. He also went one step further to raise the concern level of the RuneScape community even more, which I proudly support, otherwise I wouldn't be doing these kind of videos warning people about the dangers of crap like this. When Mark Gerhard revealed, Jagex will be introducing supersonic ads into Treasure Hunter in April. It's nice to know where your priorities lie, Mr. Gerhard, or is it the fact that we're still making fun of you for this little comment you made at RuneFest last year? How come you park a tank outside the studio? Ah, uh, because I've got a really small penis. Um, <laughs> yeah. After introducing supersonic ads into RuneScape, it showed you not only have a small penis, you also have a small brain to go along with it. Moving on. I understand what Gmaster was saying when he said the internet is a great program. It's great and all that, but it also has an underbelly, like everything does in this world. And I believe this generation is completely oblivious and ignorant to this fact. Which is probably the reason Jagex thought they could get away with introducing supersonic ads into RuneScape without anybody realising it. Magebeer realised it. So it's vitally important that you get a good education into computer security like Magebit said, so you don't fall victim to these scams. In closing, I hope there is a revolt by Jagex employees, and they do bring this to a head, and realise that this is bad business. Remove supersonic ads, and issue an apology, to the Jagex mods, the player mods, and the entire RuneScape community for going half cock at some random ass idea. On behalf of Gmaster323, Magebit from RuneScape Weekly, I'm DXCLB from Rune News saying thank you for watching this special report on Supersonic Ads.